Hey guys, so um, I am sorry for how long it has been since my last video about any of the uh, characters, any uh, character analysis videos, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, sorry, I am having trouble uh, thinking today. Um, the last couple weeks have just been really just not that great for me. Um, one thing that I am still being reminded of from my miscarriage back in October is that was very traumatizing to me and it stays with you longer than you think it should, um, which is actually something that kind of will tie in just dealing with trauma in general. Anyway, um, today my video is about Credence. Um, I had filmed on my Nikon a video, but it's just the thought of having to get the memory card out of the camera, put it in the laptop, bring up the editing program. It's just, that seems like too much work to me right now. So I am doing, well, refilming on my laptop and procrastinating doing dishes. I was very sick last week. Um, I thought I had the flu, but I tested negative. So just a wonderful upper respiratory tract infection on top of springtime allergies, which is fun. Um, anyway, I am tired. I'm very tired. Work has been crazy. Um, friends from Discord, you know this better than anyone else because of how little I've actually been on Discord lately. Um, sorry, I had to adjust my laptop. I had my legs crossed and now I don't. So now I can see. Yay. Um, I don't have very many notes on Credence. Um, just very, very short. He was kind of difficult to uh, really get into his head to uh, to analyze him. But um, <clears throat> anyway, I guess I will try to get on with this rather than just keeping on putting it off. Um, what is up with my eyebrows? Sorry, one of my eyebrows looks like really weird. And I'm slightly concerned. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, my first point is that he is a truly tragic character. And this just comes from his backstory. I mean, he never felt loved when he was growing up. His mother... Well, adoptive mother, Mary Lou Barebone, beat him. Uh, and at some point, he started to lash out, thanks to the Obscurist. Um, but I fear for Credence going forward into the next films. I don't think he's going to survive this whole series. I really don't. Um, but yeah. Um, also, he wants to know his family history. He thinks that will help him learn who he is, um, but that's not necessarily true. Like, I am not who I am because of who my family is. I am who I am because of what I've been through. I am who I am. I'm the kind of person that I am because of how I dealt with my own uh, experiences growing up. Um, my biological parents decided they didn't want to be parents, so they left me with my father's parents who raised me and adopted me when I was in elementary school. Um, they didn't have to do that, but they did. And for a very long time, I was very angry with my biological parents, understandably. Um, I, I still don't, like, have 
an actual relationship with my biological mother. My brothers do, but I do not. And that is a choice that I've made. Um, like, I have enough baggage myself to deal with now. And I don't want to, like, reopen any old wounds that don't need to be reopened by establishing that contact. Um, and my twin brother isn't doing so great mentally now that he has established that. So, I mean, there you go. But, um, let's see here. Also, how I've dealt with the colitis. A lot of people would have just, like, given up and, been like, let me die. And honestly, yeah, I, I've had days like that, too. But a few days later, I pick myself up, call my doctor, and get on with my life. Um, you're allowed to fall apart for a little while, so long as you get back up and put yourself back together. Um, but back to Credence. Um... He thinks his worth is going to be found in his family name, who his parents are, uh, which in the wizarding world, there is a lot riding on your blood status, and your blood status tends to be established by your family name, um, like Lestrange or Malfoy, people know those are pure blood names. Um, but Credence's worth isn't going to be found in his family. Um, now we know that he is a Dumbledore. I'm very heavily leaning towards that actually being true. Um, just because it seems like it would be too easy for her to come out later and say, Hey, don't, uh, Grindelwald was lying and Credence isn't a, uh, Dumbledore. It doesn't make sense. As good of a storyteller as Joe Rowling is, I don't think she would use the he's lying fit. Uh, sorry about this. Um, uh, trying to find a good angle now. Um, I'm on my couch. I actually need to clean off my desk so that I can actually use it. It was cleaned off, and that lasted for all of two weeks, and then my husband decided to mess it back up. Ugh. Anyway, um, Credence again. Um, a lot of people thought maybe Credence and Nagini were going to end up doubling up, but um, obviously they did not. And I think that was a good thing. Um... Neither one of them were really in a good place to have some kind of relationship beyond friendship. Um, Credence is still dealing with the trauma of his childhood and early adulthood. Um, what is he, like 19 or 20? So, yeah. Um, when you have dealt with trauma for that long, you have to process it. And it's not easy to process. Um, I think I heard in an interview uh, Ezra Miller actually uh, saying that Joe did describe the process of how Credence reformed. And Ezra said it sounded very painful. So that just... Ugh. It makes me kind of think, well, dealing with trauma in general, something that traumatized you growing up, that would be painful. I mean, um, I think Credence was also depressed, um, for, for good reason, I mean, um, one thing about mental illnesses, I think, is that you don't tend to have just one. There tends to be like two or three that you have all at once. Um, 
and symptoms from one doesn't necessarily mean that that's all you have or that's definitely the one you have because things manifest differently for different people. Um, but it will be interesting to see where Credence's character goes. Um, is he going to eventually change sides? Um, when will he meet his end? Because I get the feeling that's coming just with the fact that Albus Dumbledore has Fox, which the phoenix at the end of Crimes of Grindelwald definitely looks like Fox. So something had to have happened at some point. Um, but yeah, I am definitely feeling that Credence is going to be meeting his end at some point. <coughs> Sorry, scratchy throat, wonderful springtime allergies, and not very effective allergy medicine. Um, anyway, I think that's all I've got. Like I said, I didn't have very extensive notes on Credence. He was kind of difficult to uh, come up with notes on. Um, I had wanted to actually go back and rewatch both Fantastic Beasts movie, but I just haven't had the time. Also, uh, something else that's going to be time consuming is I am doing Camp NaNoWriMo. I didn't like, actually write my book in November like I had meant to, but, I mean, when you're dealing with crappiness that I was dealing with at that time, it's understandable. So, here I am. I've got over 5,000 words written now, so hopefully at some point soon I will have something resembling a book. Also, I am down to, I kid you not, $4,000 left on my student loan. I'm happy and excited. It means that I'm getting closer and closer to being able to quit this job that I don't really like. And no, I don't particularly like it. I don't see myself doing it for the long term. Um, I did apply at my local library today. Um, but they're not like actually hiring, but they do take applications and resumes all the time. Because you never know when somebody's going to end up leaving. Either they're fired or they quit. Um, but I, I love being surrounded by books, so I figured that's probably one of the best places for me to be working. Um, but anyway, I've just got life going on. Like I said, my work schedule is not that um, regular. I'm usually off on Mondays and Wednesdays, and normally Saturdays, but I mean with it being the end of the school year, we have a lot of high schoolers that work, and they've got a lot of stuff going on on Saturdays right now. So anyway, um, I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, I do intend to have a video up every week. I just don't know how likely that's going to be to continue. And I'm not entirely sure who I'm going to uh, do an analysis over next. I hadn't really thought about that yet, but hopefully I will figure it out soon. Um, I do want to, when I'm done with Fantastic Beasts, um, do analysis for Anne with an E and How to Train Your Dragon because they have, both have really good characters. Um, but April is going to be pretty cool. I mean, we're already on day number three, and I'm like, where has the time gone? Where? It doesn't make sense. So, anyway, I'm going to get off of here and either do more dishes or, uh, get to writing some more. I'm sorry my nose itches. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.